What's up guys? I am back to bring you a quick little recap and critique on the wedding of the century, the royal wedding to rival all royal weddings, my God. The wedding of Keisha Kaor and Gucci Mane that was featured on BET on their upcoming reality show, The Main Event, which I hate the title Main Event. I mean, I know that they were making a play off of Gucci Mane, but the main event for a multi-million dollar wedding sounds so low budget. But to give you guys a quick history of Gucci Mane and Keisha Kaor, Keisha Kaior has been with Gucci Mane for about seven years. She held him down when he went to prison for three years. And the story that has been told is Gucci Mane left her with $2 million and she flipped it to about $6 million. And now he has decided to marry her. And any woman or man that is going to turn your two million into six million is definitely a keeper. We all know that Gucci Mane is a rapper. I believe he went to jail based off of some issues with firearms and things like that. And Keisha Kaior is like a beauty, I won't say expert, but she's in somewhat of the beauty industry because I believe she has waist trainers. She's also a video vixen. She's a very beautiful woman. Now, I want to get into this all white wedding, multi-million dollar affair, which guys, I'm sorry, I hate to say this, but I was not impressed at all. For this to be a $2 million wedding, I'm thinking I was expecting so much more. There was no wow. I've actually been to weddings that have only cost about $30,000 or $50,000 and they were so much fun. It was so beautiful and it just felt, I don't know, I felt the love. But watching this wedding, first and foremost, they had a white carpet instead of a red carpet to feature some of the celebrities. And it was weird, the production and editing of this show was horrible. BET needs to get their team up. Whoever did this wedding, it just wasn't a good idea um, because we've seen several weddings on TV like Nene's wedding, we've seen Candy's wedding, we've seen uh, Kim Kardashian's wedding. There has been so many televised reality weddings and this just missed the mark even with the production and editing side just for TV. They had horrible hosts, some guy named Kendall whom I don't know who he is, and then they had Karuchi Tran. Even though she's beautiful and they looked nice, they just were not great hosts. There were a few celebrities that came through the white carpet, but the bigger celebrities that we would have liked to see, like a Rick Ross or a Diddy, who actually attended the wedding, were not there. So I was confused as to how that played out. I know we saw two chains on the white carpet. We saw Kim Zosiak and her daughter. And honestly, I think Kim Zosiak was one of the best dressed. I loved her white gown. And that's the problem with people doing white, all white weddings. There is no like, no standout. Everyone looks completely the same, even the bride that is. And yeah, Kim was, Kim's gown was stunning. I love the ribbon effect on her shoulder and all of that. A uh, Monica, her blonde hair. I usually don't care for a platinum blonde on Monica, but Monica looks stunning. I loved her dress, the sheer dress that she had on that was stunning with the leotard underneath. She looked great, but that was pretty much it. I do remember a young man named Rolo who says that he is Keisha Kaor's and Gucci Mane's godson. And you guys are gonna kill me, but there was something so attractive and cute and sexy about him. Him trying to be proper for the camera and his just whole swag, it was just so adorable. I thought he was so attractive. But that was pretty much it as far as the white carpet goes. People that I can remember who kind of stuck out, but the wedding itself, Okay, the wedding venue, guys, it was beautiful. It was, it, I, won't, I don't wanna use the word beautiful because it was, 
It was beautiful, but it just was not something that I was expecting for a multi-million dollar wedding. Keisha Kayora looks stunning, but her gown really gave me more like a figure skater bodysuit and maybe a ballroom salsa dancer-ish thing going on. So I wish that Keisha would have worn like a big poofy princess gown, even if it was fitted at the top, but something that would have translated more bridal and royal and rich and wealthy lavish wedding on TV because her gown looked more like an evening gown or even a reception dress. And Gucci Mane, he looked so handsome. I never thought of Gucci Mane as being a handsome guy, but he looked really handsome in that white tuxedo. I was totally impressed. I love what he had on, but I wish that they didn't do an all white theme because I feel like it looked clean and nice, but there was no standout um, with the, the, the walls being white, the guest in white, the bride in white, the preacher in white, Gucci in white. Everybody was in white and it was just whack to me. I wanted some wow. Now let's get into the bridesmaids. The bridesmaids dresses had to have been whack because I can't remember what they look like. And it's funny because Trina was a bridesmaid and Trina is supposed to be known for being the baddest bitch. And I have never seen Trina look more basic in my life. Like Trina went from being the baddest bitch to the basic bitch in Keisha K. Orr's wedding. And I get that Keisha K. Orr did not want anyone to look better than her, but I feel like when you're the bride, that's why you're the only one supposed to wear white because you can stand out regardless of what anyone else wears. And I feel like it does a disservice to your entire wedding because I feel like your guests and what they wear in your bridal party is a reflection of how fabulous your wedding is. And it just didn't give me that. We didn't get to see much though of the reception, but I hope that that was where maybe more of the money was spent. I do know that her wedding was at the Four Seasons, but that still doesn't add up to a multi-million dollar wedding. Now, their rings were gorgeous. I didn't really get to see Keisha Kayor's ring so much, but Gucci Mane, his ring had three huge diamonds, my God, the size of my head, and it was hot. It was everything. And it was funny because the audience chuckled and laughed because Gucci Mane had Keisha Kayor's wedding rings as well as his own, opposed to typically the maid of honor has the ring and then the best man has the ring, but as much as those rings probably cost, I can see Gucci Mane saying, honey, mm -mm, I got my rings, I got both of ours, we're good. Nobody is holding it because anybody could have tiptoed, stolen, got sticky fingers and snatched up those rings, my God. Now, the tone of the wedding threw me off because I'm used to ceremonies being emotional or fun or there's some funny moments or just warm and it was very cold to me. Keisha Kayora didn't really have much of a reaction when she was walking down the aisle. She looked as if she was upset, but I kind of figured that maybe she was nervous and not upset. Gucci really didn't have much of a reaction. The audience was dry, like weddings can be fun, not just the reception, the ceremony. I have enjoyed and seen some beautiful wedding ceremonies. And yeah, I just I just felt awkward watching it like we were spying on them. We were not supposed to be there because it apparently seemed like maybe only family and close friends were invited to the ceremony because I saw no celebrities in the audience at the ceremony from what I can recollect. It just did not do it for me for it to be 1.7 million. I'm guessing the 1.7 million included their rings uh, and maybe the crystals everywhere. I did not like Keisha Kayor's bouquet. I wanted her to have some real flowers that stone crystal studded diamond studded bouquet didn't do it for me. What I will say is Keisha Kayora had one of the most clean and amazing looking lace fronts that I've seen on reality TV as of yet as far as the front goes my god. It was laid beautifully. It looked so natural. It looked gorgeous. Now what threw me off though was the front was laid so nicely that the back when I saw that close up at the back of her neck and I saw her lace lifting and saw some black color or dye up in there or some black glue showing my God, 
I said, come on now, this is supposed to be the multi-million dollar wedding. You cannot make any missteps. So shame on Keisha Kiora's hairstylist for that mishap with her hair underneath. And it was interesting to see Keisha Kiora do the one-two step. I hate when people do the march down the aisle. Just stroll, just walk, even if you have to walk slow, but don't do that that wedding march. I can't take it. Also, Keisha Kayor had some issues getting up the stairs and it seemed like nobody was gonna help her get up the stairs. Also, I was so shocked and I gagged that for this to be a wedding for a musical celebrity, a musical artist, that he did not have live musicians and singers present for this televised wedding. You had Monica in the audience and although Monica has pitch issues, my God, they're close to her. They could have asked her to sing something. Like I feel like they dropped the ball. Even with Keisha Kayor's wedding coordinator or wedding planner, like if this was gonna be on TV, there were so many things that could have been done for us to be wowed and impressed. But as I was saying, for there to be no musical guest and you had people like Monica and other artists who were present to not perform, y'all were playing the music from a damn speaker like a DJ booth? No, you don't do that at weddings, my God, not million dollar weddings. So I don't really want to shade Gucci and Keisha Kayor because I'm happy for them. Anybody that's willing to make this type of commitment, I'm wishing the best for, but they allowed us to be in a position to critique them because they put their wedding on TV and they were pretty much bragging. Well, Keisha was bragging and I don't wanna say bragging in a negative way, but saying how lavish and phenomenal this wedding was gonna be and it really wasn't. So guys, don't forget that I did say Keisha K. York looked beautiful from head to toe. I loved her hairstyle with the gown and she looked stunning. She's a beautiful woman, but this was not the multi-million dollar wedding that I was expecting. Now, Keisha Kaur is officially Keisha Davis. And personally, I would have made Gucci take my last name because to go from Kaur to a Davis, yeah. No thank you, but congrats to the happy couple. I wish them a long, healthy, and happy marriage. Anyway, I know that this is supposed to turn into a reality series and or show for Keisha Kayor, which threw me off because if they were going to show the leading up to her wedding, I'm wondering why they chose to show the wedding first and then now try to encourage people to watch the series. Like, what's the point of watching her leading up to the wedding if we've already seen the wedding? Like, the big reveal is already done. There's no point to watch it. So I doubt that I will be doing any recaps on the main event reality show, but yeah. Oh, I forgot. It was interesting that Keisha K. Orr pretty much fell out and screamed. She seemed more happy about getting that Rolls Royce at the rehearsal dinner than she was walking down the aisle, my God. But yeah, they were read to the rehearsal dinner and I get that they were trying to be different, but eh, I didn't really care for it. Although I did like the style of Keisha Kayora's dress from the rehearsal dinner. I wish she would have worn that to the wedding in white, my God. But please, Thumbs up my video, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about Keisha Kayor and Gucci Mane's wedding, like your honest opinion. Follow me on all social media outlets. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications and share this video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.